Hi friends. This book is titled An Earthworm's Life and it's written and illustrated by John Himmelman. Now, have you ever noticed that a lot of the books that we read end with a little biography of the author? And it's interesting to learn about this author, John Himmelman, because he really brings his own passions and interests into what he writes about. Let's start off with reading about the author. John Himmelman has written or illustrated more than 50 books for children, including Ibis, A True Whale Story, Wanted, Perfect Parents, and JJ versus the Babysitter. His books have received honors such as Pick of the List, Book of the Month, JLG Selection, and the ABC Award. He is also a naturalist who enjoys turning over dead logs, crawling through grass, kneeling over puddles, and gazing at the sky. His greatest joy is sharing these experiences with others. John lives in Killingworth, Connecticut with his wife, Betsy, who's an art teacher. They have two children, Jeff and Liz. Huh, so now that we know a little bit about John Himmelman, we can see why he might be interested in writing and illustrating a book about earthworms. An Earthworm's Life. Let's see how these illustrations make you feel like you are the same size as an earthworm. An earthworm spends most of its life hidden beneath our feet. In spring, an adult earthworm leaves an egg case in an underground burrow. Two months later, a baby earthworm hatches from its egg. It crawls out of the egg case. The young earthworm tunnels through the soil. At night, it feeds on dead leaves. Sometimes the earthworm eats soil. The soil goes through the earthworm's body. It comes out as a pile of round balls called castings. By fall, the earthworm is nearly full grown. It pulls dead plants into its burrow. The earthworm eats the plants until winter. Then it's time to sleep. See how these cross section illustrations really help you to imagine the life of a worm? It's as though the ground was just sliced open and we can peek in what we normally can't see. Spring rains bring the earthworm back to the surface. When a hungry mole comes near, the earthworm sneaks away. The earthworm begins to look for a mate. It finds one outside a nearby burrow. Soon, part of the earthworm's body bulges with eggs. A ring full of eggs comes loose. The earthworm slips out of it. The ring becomes an egg case. The earthworm leaves it behind. When the earthworm comes above ground, a robin grabs it. The robin struggles to pull the earthworm out of its tunnel. But the earthworm is strong. The robin gives up. One summer night, heavy rains fall from the sky. By morning, the earthworm's burrow is filled with water. It searches for a drier place to live, but it gets stranded on a basketball court. A young boy picks up the earthworm. He puts it in a garden. The earthworm spends the rest of the summer tunneling among roots and eating soil. When cold weather returns, the earthworm sleeps underground.
In spring, the earthworm begins a new journey. Well, thanks to John Hamelman for an earthworm's life. Bye everyone.